if you talk about Biden, about Biden being corrupt, there was a, oh my God, in comparison to Trump, like why are we comparing him to Trump? To comedian- Let's pretend tr- Trump was never born. If Trump was never born and it was Biden versus, you know, fill in the blanks. How long was Trump in government? RFK Jr. How long was Trump but in if, government? Oh, oh. If, you're, if you have just Trump, uh, just uh, Biden versus any politician, if they were just running and they get to pull up all this shit that he did while he's vice president, <laughs> all this shit his son was involved in, all the stuff that they absolutely know, like unaccounted for millions. Where did all that money go? How did they, how do these people get all this money? Like, what were you they doing? They all do that. How much were you getting paid? Why were you getting paid so much for this in university where you had a job where you never showed up? And yeah, you right. Still, anybody else. That was a Democrat. If Biden wasn't president, like if Obama was running against right. Biden, imagine a world where he wouldn't get taken down. By it was this. like that. He ran, like that's who he was before he became vice president. Well, that's who go, he was in 1988. His nickname was Uncle. It be his, <laughs> Uncle Joe. That's not because you're good. They call you Uncle Joe. What like do you mean? why? What is Uncle? He was remember, he's creepy, like creepy uncles. Remember what you're Obama would go, oh, that's Uncle Joe. Uh, because Biden was like, get a shotgun. You remember those clips that would go around where he was like, you know, and, but and that's all that was when he was running for 2020 or wasn't it? No, no, no. When he was, vi- when he was Obama's vice president and you know, he's a gaff machine. Biden would say goofy shit. Yeah. This he always, his, he always says goofy shit. Yeah, this is when his brain worked. Yeah. And the way the white and the white house was hugely embarrassed by it all the time. And the way they would do the pitch about it, like that's uncle Joe, th- that's how they would pitch him. And then he was a joke. So you're saying uncle is like he's old or goofy or dumb. Like how I'm an unmarried uncle of two? I've never heard uncle used as a pejorative before. That's why I'm confused. Like a crazy uncle? Okay, crazy yeah. uncle. Because so you're just saying background? Uncle Joe. No, like <laughs> Uncle Joey. We call Joey Uncle Joey. Everybody calls Ted Nugent Uncle Ted. But the, when they say that's because you're, you see, so you're thinking about it like a poor person right now. From their, from their standpoint, <laughs> their standpoint is a condescending, oh, that's a wacky uncle. Yeah. That real upper, upper class view of calling. So you're talking about it like the way someone from a normal place in neighborhood thinks about family. <laughs> like, yeah. That's not how they think about it. But I, 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 I should even brought up uncle. It's, it's, it, first of all, if, if, Trump's only been in government for how long? Biden's been there for 50 years. And we can go easily look up all the damage he did to all the people. Yeah. That's why there's so many undecideds and various things. This because is my point about it. Let's pretend Trump doesn't exist. Pretend Trump doesn't exist. I would and like then, to. And then tell me, how come RFK Jr. can't get on the primary? Just tell me. If, if this is a real democracy, you tell me yeah, yeah. why this guy who's a Kennedy, who's an environmental attorney, who's, you know, got, even though he's got this voice issue, he's extremely articulate, yeah. very good speaker, yeah. very good recall of uh, controversial ideas, but who the fuck doesn't have controversial ideas in the world of 2024? Who doesn't have controversial ideas? The guy knows what the fuck he's talking about when he talks. When he talks, you could hear a guy who knows what the fuck he's talking about. That guy from the New York Times, in my world, has controversial ideas. My, I think what he's saying is controversial about, vi- you know, taking things out of context, talking about violent rhetoric. By the way, Biden and Obama in 2020 were both talking about who could beat each other up. Why? <laughs> because <laughs> they're that too. dumb old dudes. I go they're by dumb old dudes. So, but he's when he's saying I like to punch him in his mouth, that's what he's talking about. And when he's saying that people should be executed for treason. Well, guess what? Don't make that, me like him. Hold on. That is actually the fucking, that's the, the, that's what happens to you if you get tried and convicted for treason. Yeah, right. That's the punishment. Yeah. The punishment is execution. Oh, it's uh, kind of always been execution. No shit. So, what, don't know so saying that that's violent rhetoric, what that guy's saying in my mind is like trying to Look, he's, he says bad enough things as it is. Instead of distorting <laughs> yeah, right. what he says, which now makes yes, me uh, not trust you, just say what is actually going on. Yes. And also talk about the evidence that shows that Biden is insanely corrupt. Because <laughs> both of those things are true, too. And if you don't want to talk about one because you think it props up the other, you're a part of the problem. Uh you're, tre- yeah, you're infantilizing you. the whole country and treating us like we're children. That's right. And we we, we want to know, why didn't RFK, why couldn't he get in the primaries? Right. 
Like, if this is real, if this, if democracy is real, you guys don't just get to decide who runs your party against the will of the entire United States. But they're experts. But isn't that insane that no one has a problem with that, but everyone thinks that if Trump gets into office, he's going to become a dictator. 